It's a student's ticket to tuition. No, I don't mean winning the lottery and paying for their higher education with their newfound cash, but by benefiting from others who decide to try their luck. Since the South Carolina Education Lottery began, over 794,000 scholarships and grants have been awarded to students. Peter Briggs says it would be tough to stay in college if it wasn't for a scholarship from the lottery. It pays half of his tuition. It's expensive to go to school and every little bit helps, especially when you're working to put yourself through school. After his military career ended, Briggs says he quickly realized he needed a college education to be successful in today's world. Any sort of good paying job wants an education, wants some sort of degree. <laughs> Didn't really want to go straight to school, but then after working in the job market a little bit, you really need an education to be able to get a good job. Briggs is now at Ori Georgetown Technical College studying electrical engineering. I also talked with two students from Coastal Carolina University on how the lottery has helped them. Both are taking advantage of a life scholarship the State Lottery Commission offers. Nicholas Ledger says without that cash, his dreams of going to law school would be slim. Now I am able to apply to more prestigious graduate programs considering I don't have thousands of dollars in debt. Julie Huffman works for the lottery and tells me schools all over the state benefit too. K-12 classrooms have received $599 million in appropriations since the start of the lottery for things like classroom books and buses and items like that. In Horry County, K-12 through students have received over $13 million, plus over 29,000 scholarships have been awarded in the amount of about $42 million. The lottery also helps fund community education programs like county libraries and the Education Television Network. Get, it's a win-win. You can either receive money by winning the by winning the, um, the lottery, and you're also supporting your community and um, helping students that might not be uh, as well off as you are. Huffman agrees, so she says play responsibly and pick up a ticket to help someone with their education.